YouTube, what's up? I'm back on salary cap. No more kiddie pool. No more playing mutt head to head against 12 year olds. We're going to go ahead and try to get my passion back for the game. Try to really grind some salary cap. Play against the best players. Get ready to get back in the competitive mode. We've all been slowed down a little bit, obviously, since Jacksonville really stunned the community. But I really want to get, you know, my juices flowing again for some Madden football. If you like any of the offenses or defenses that you see in this video, hit the Madden Turf link below. You can also watch all of these games live on Twitch. That link is below, too. Hopefully, all you guys follow me on there. That's where I stream live. And this is a salary cap video gameplay. My salary cap team is really good. I mean, one of the best things about salary cap is you always get to change your team. You know, one player is not doing good for you. Take them out of the game. Put some, try somebody else. Try to get somebody with a low cap and, you know, a budget player, stuff like that to fix it. So that's why salary cap really is unique and really is a fun mode to play. Kicking the ball off the start, I see split close. If you follow my streams, you watch the videos, I will kill split close. And right there, we should have had a lyric with my man Apke. But we don't. I love when split close on my field. That's a nice little dot over there to Mr. Randy Moss. He's running a lot of no huddle this game. Here we go, playmaker. But we got Lawrence Taylor. We're running 3 3 5 odd. That's a Madden turf if you like it. And we're looping Lawrence Taylor in there. So you have somebody fast with also great pass rushing stats. And there you see his running back drops the ball. He was scared. Fourth and 11 early in the game. We're going to get a stop. Early throws the in route, catches it, and. I don't know how that's a first down. I don't know what ref is out there, but they called that a first down. Next play is running. We really bottled up the run well. I have a strong first seven, front seven. That's Jabal Sheard right there making a play. He goes for a cover three beater, and he tries to go over the top. I actually came off it, but Jalen Ramsey makes a play for me. Coming down, stripping the ball. Use that RB button to try to strip the ball on your opponents when they catch the ball. Third and five, he snuck in a little pass there. We should have had another alert there. And I get an animation behind him, and John Ross is just faster than all my players so he scores a test on a drag i was a little bit late on should have had a pick if i played a little more aggressive but i get an animation behind him he gets a touchdown so that's killer giving up seven on an easy drag play it was a struggle drive thought that fourth down should have got off the field but we didn't so first drive of the game we'll hit try to this post here do it a little bit early that purple zone was still back there i gotta hold the ball a little more how the flat route here to Gurley gets hit, and somehow this guy picks it off the ground off his shoelaces. Jeez, I don't think Hassan Reddick has tip drill, but he certainly had it on that play. So here we go, we got a little split close. We get a sack right there by big Brandon Williams. That guy's a hog. Great budget player for 20 cap. Throw it underneath, make a great tackle with Pat Pete. You know he's my favorite corner in the game. He's my number one corner on my team. Probably will be all year. Tackle him short there. He fit that in between uh, Patrick Peterson and, and Milton there. Milton is my DB in the slot, 10 cap. So I hold him to three here. Spotted him 10 points. Always rough spot on 10 points, but it's still the first quarter. A lot of John Madden football to be played. So here we go. This is a play I, I want to show you guys. I come out in this, and what I notice is left corner, he mans up the outside X receiver. I notice that. So what I do is I want to exploit that. I know he's in a cover three shell, so he doesn't have a deep blue on the left. I run Gurley at tight end, so I know I can run verticals, and he has to guard this with one of his linebackers. He's not fast enough to guard Gurley. Boom, throw it over his head for a big play. I'll show you this guy, this again for you guys. If you don't notice this, we come out here to huddle. Obviously, he's running loop crossfire the whole game, so it's cover three. Now, if you watch the corner on the left, he's going to square up and strafe up against. You'll see he'll do an adjustment. Right there in the corner, we'll move in and square up straight on the receiver. That means he manned them up. That means there's no deep blue over there on the left. So that's why I went to verticals. It's the quickest way for me to exploit the fact he had no deep blue over there. And it's a play that I don't run very much, but you always have to keep it in the arsenal when you're running wide trips. And that's what we do right there. Able to hit Gurley for a huge play. Take Notice things on the field. That's what I do, and that's why I called that play right there. Next play, he runs a little cover one, and Tyreek Hill was sprinting 94 speed. Nobody's checking that guy. So we get down and get an easy seven. That's how it should be on the offensive side of the ball. Now we just need to get a turnover. And split close, I feel like I'm going to get a turnover every time somebody comes out and split close. I think it's terrible. So here goes. He tries to hit a cover three bomb, but I deep half Peterson. That's why that corner route was open. I live with that. That was a nice animation on the sideline. Once again, we're bottling up the run. Almost get a strip there from Jabal Sheard. We'll get to a second and seven, and I pick him off with Apke. Run that crossfire, crossfire, crossfire. Eventually, Lawrence Taylor's going to come through, make him panic, and he threw the ball right to me. Able to lurk him there. Let's go get some more yards. Throw underneath Tevin Coleman. 
Mason played a little spin. Tevin Coleman is my running back. Todd Gurley is my tight end. Two running back offense we're running out here. He was the only rushes three here. We're able to hit a big dot down the field. Tyreek Hill again hit a spin move. We're inside the 15-yard line. This is how it's supposed to go. I'm running a little inside zone here. Take it to the two-minute warning. That's all this is. Inside the 15, inside the 10, inside the 5. We'll win and lose your games. Try to get one to Randy. He gets beat up by, I guess that's Amos, number 38. Try to go with number one to Randy. Vic overthrows it. I mean, went Randy heavy there. Should have made some better reads, but that's why we have Moss on the team to save me down there inside the 10. Take my three. I get the ball at half. I feel like I want to continue to get stops against this split close. It doesn't look good to me. It, it takes a real good offensive player to run split close. And here we go. Grant dropping the ball. That's his budget running back. You know, if you're going to throw your running backs, you might have better running backs out there. And his better running back is David Johnson, the one killing me right there. Nice 15-yard game by him. Pat Pete, I just talked you up and you swat that and you just go grab that for me one time. More pressure. Here we go again. Actually, Melvin Ingram coming in with the sack, getting some pressure on him. Get him to a third and 15. We play coverage, play the sticks. I guard the post. I leave the play. Always stay on the big play. Troy Apke, if he's not your user in salary cap, you're not playing the mode. That's pretty much how it is. 87 speed. I think he's 6'2 and went up there and got that one, able to cover the whole field with him. Next play out the huddle, we actually get sacked. He gets a great block shed there by Melvin Ingram. So I have an Ingram. He has Ingram. And here we go. We're throwing the knee. Get a little quick snap. He has no flat zone over here to Moss. So we're getting close to field goal range. I have Jake Elliott, the Eagles kicker. So he has a good boot. And we throw underneath the girly. goes through his face. I mean, that's okay. We'll get it back. Go ahead, a little baby slant under here. Oh, we get hit. Never mind. Jeez. Get us to a third down. I'm going to go ahead and hit Randy Moss over the middle. He holds onto the ball. He dropped those two touchdowns for me early in, in, in traffic, but he holds onto that one for me. So, you know, we got to go back to him, give him another chance. Vic overthrows it. Oh, that's cool. He goes off sides. Get, get a little closer. We're going to throw the wheel route here to Moss, and it's hit up. And, of course, you know, he just gets the perfect toe-tap animation with Tyron Matthew, the honey badger, so I don't get any points right there. He very bad by me. Should have been cool with my three because I get the ball at half. 13-10 would have looked way better than 10-10, to 10, but I feel good. I feel like his offense is not going to get points. I feel good on offense. Take my time. Trust my offensive line to hold down this crossfire. Make some plays down the field. That's what it's about. I'm going to try to switch up my tempo a little bit. You know, mixing some quick snaps along with plays where I'm doing a lot of hot routes and max protecting and slide protection, stuff like that. First play out the drive. I go ahead and hit him with a quick snap. I go ahead and hit the drag under here to Randy Moss. And you know we're going to just hurdle that guy. He, he's not a problem. I'm going to hit with Randy Moss. Try to spin. Try to make some more plays. But that, that's what Randy Moss does. 99 jump right there. Throw underneath. Hit Gurley. Like I said a thousand times, Gurley's my tight end because he can spin, break tackles, carry people, and he's fast. You know, the other fastest tight end in the game might be 83 speed, but Gurley's fast enough. Speaking of fast, that's Randy Moss right at the seam. Another quick snap. Went four verticals on him. Caught him on his safety and covered three and exploited the middle of the field there. So now I'm up seven. He hits this little in route here to John Ross. Brian Dawkins takes his face off. That's what we like from b Doc. I told you before, Lawrence Taylor. Looping in there, getting another sack. Throws the dragon underneath, just make some tackles. Make him work Apke on the tackle there, John Ross. Here he goes again. We're going to send the spike. Little curl was running back. That's a nice play. You know, I had to guard the post for the big play. He was able to, I, in hindsight, I might have should have clicked on the spy and made a play there, but I wasn't able to. Dawkins, what are you doing, kid? Dawkins, that's a pick six. Obviously, after you throw a pick six, should have been pick six. You're going to run the ball. Sheer blows it up. Gets him to a third down. Brian Dawkins makes up. He said, W, I got you, man. I know I dropped the pick to play before, but I got you on this one. So now the game's in my hand. All I need to do is go down here. We get him on sides. You know we got to throw it up to the man. Randy doesn't hold on to it. But when you get somebody on sides, you got to take a chunk play. We go hitting the slant over the middle. All I want to do is get in field goal range, run some clock a little bit. That's Philip Dorsett. That's one of my budget players. We're going to go ahead and try to run some clock down here. Throw the curl man coverage. <sighs> Tackle by Pat P. Tyreek Hill did not hold on to that for me. So we'll come here and dump it off over here. My boy Dorsett breaks that gets crushed right there. So we're just going to try to milk the clock. A field goal gives me a two-possession lead. I dump it off the girl on the delay route. What did I tell you? Stiff arm fight from the 11 to the 3. Todd Gurley running back. Hit man to the link below. You'll find out how to do that. To put him in tight end, make your offense that much better. And I talked about this sequence in the stream. What I'm going to do here is I'm literally going to run three times. I don't care what 
Defense is in. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with running three times. I'm perfectly fine with taking a minute and 30 off the clock and kicking my field goal. So I put Ty Gurley on conservative so I don't fumble. And I actually, what I do is I put my offensive line on aggressive. Because what, what could happen is I could get a holding, he accepted, and give me another down. So that's another chance to run extra time off the clock. But it didn't happen. So, but I did take all that time off. You see, I took about a minute and 40 seconds off the clock. A minute 42 off the clock. Shoot, a minute, not even a minute 46 off the clock in the, in the fourth quarter. Got my two possession leads. Should have another book here for, with my man Apke. Sending that pressure. Got Clowney. Got Lawrence Taylor. Got Sheard, Ingram. They're, they're coming after the quarterback now. Here we go. Rushing five. He has a lot of time here, and he's actually able to escape with Michael Vick. If you're not using Michael Vick at quarterback, then you're not playing the right game. And you'll see here the same thing. I rush three. I send the spy. Breaks a tackle. Throws the ball to John Ross. Holds on to it. Jeez, things are just getting ugly out here. So all I want to do is hold him to three here. Brian Dawkins drops a pick. Dawkins is just, as much as I pipe him up to y'all that he's the best safety ever, he's just really not having a good game right now. So all I want to do is hold him out of the end zone. There go Lawrence Taylor. Bang, big hit right there. He no huddles. This is an obvious run commit situation. His run just got three yards, so I'm not going to run commit. I hold my water. got my safety in the spy, tries to run his shear, blows it up. Now he's going to come out here on fourth and goal. I think Madden asked this play for him, and what I do is I just, I'm worried about the run a little bit, but I spy Jabal Shear. Obviously, I love the way he's playing, but he's not fast enough to keep up with Michael Vick, and that frustrated me getting on that touchdown. So now he's only down three. It changes the game completely. I mean, I'm cool with being up seven. Being up three is a little more pressure on me. And pressure the first play, you know, I throw a pick because I do it for YouTube. I do it for the stream. This is just going to be an easy win. You never know what's going to happen on these videos. We do this for entertainment. And here, the run just starts killing me with 30 seconds in the game. I've been trying to, I've been bottling up all game, but it just starts mauling me. I just want to keep him out of the end zone. This is where games are won and lost. YouTube inside the three. So what I do, I come out here in three, four, move my corner in for a toss. Abs and there you go. Melvin Ingram makes a great play right there. So now I notice he ran fullback that What I want to do is I want to put, I have two good linebackers in salary cap. I have Clowney and I have Lawrence Taylor. I want to take them out of outside linebacker and put them in middle linebacker. Because the middle linebackers in the three, four are the ones that are going to contain the toss. They're also going to bottle up the middle. So I use my best players and I put them in middle linebacker. So I have a little more beef rather than the silver guys I have. And it comes into play right here as Lawrence Taylor comes in and sheds David Johnson. If I had one of the silvers right there, he might have scored. So it was a great adjustment moving those linebackers around for me. Get him to a third and goal. He used his last time out. So this has to be a pass. So, obviously, he beat me scrambling with Vic earlier. So, instead of Sheard, I put my safety in the spy. So, I really only have one yellow zone. But I don't know what he called right. Threw the ball up. That's a, and, of course, I can't get a miracle pick. You know, I can't. They don't let the good players get away with stuff like that. So, after all that, we're headed into overtime as these clip kicks. And one of the things about overtime, you're not going to be able to see it because of my, my face cam on the stream. But he wins the toss. And when somebody wins the toss, I'm just jamming A. And I actually picked the wrong direction to defend with the wind. So the wind is in my face. When you're in an outside stadium, seven miles an hour wind is a big deal. You know, he's kicking the ball out of the end zone. And you'll see where my kickoff goes. It goes to about the five-yard line, uh, the two-yard line. But that's a big deal when it comes to field goal, especially if one of us gets a stop and a field goal can win the game. So that got to pay attention to that. Don't just be raging with A. And that's what I did right there. Here he goes for his cover three beater again. Gets a lucky playmaker randomly up the middle of the field. That's frustrating. I boxed the cover three beater. He was hitting me with a run again. Jeez, got a little bit of yards there. Pat Pete comes in with a saving tackle. We got to start heating him up now. He's getting way too comfortable. Heat him up. My man Milton screaming off the edge. Once again, we're going to run in here. Lawrence Taylor right up the middle. Block shedding. Go ahead and get him to a fourth and 13. And who else? Milton, get off my field, man. That's how we do it. When, when your back's up against the wall, start sending the dogs at people. Here he goes with his man coverage again. Great lurk by him. I wanted to throw that, that lob up there to Randy Moss, but he covered it. So he's running a lot of man coverage. I'm over here. Hit this little baby slant. Getting close to all the way in field goal range. I actually plays man coverage again. I cook up the right dot this time. Philip Dorsett on the comeback route. Comeback route is probably the best route against man coverage. Able to hit that. Get me in field goal range. He doesn't block it. I kick the field goal for the win. Crazy game. I didn't think it should have been that close, but sometimes, no matter how well you think you're playing, or how you should be winning, you know, the game will, will fight against you sometimes. So you got to keep your composure and make the plays that matter in the end. 
and I was able to do that this game. Great game. I mean, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it. I got plenty more salary cap gameplay for you guys. So you want to check it out? Please get this video to 200 likes and comment below who's your favorite budget player. Who's a player you have on your team that you know it really saves you a lot of cap and it makes plays for you. Obviously, Milton had like four sacks that game for me, and Dorsett had a huge game. So let me know who your budget players are. Get this to 200 likes. And like I said, any offense and defense that you see can be found below in Madden Terms. Make sure you hit that link for me, y'all.